One Minute Inspirations, Henry Street Church of Christ. As long as I win the last round, I win the whole fight. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but to all them also that love his appearing. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7 to verse 8, King James Version. Paul spoke about fighting and running as symbolism for the Christian faith. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 25 to 27. So it is no surprise that there are parallels in the sport of boxing with the Christian life. I remember as a teenager seeing the Chavez versus Taylor fight with my father. Boxing was a favorite pastime that we enjoyed together. Boxing fans are very familiar with this fight because it was one of the most dramatic and entertaining ones ever. Taylor was winning the entire fight until the last round. He was ahead on two of the three judges' cards by a landslide. So all that he had to do was stay away from Chavez in the last round, and the fight was guaranteed to be his. However, he continued to engage Chavez, who knocked him out in the last round of the fight with only two seconds remaining in the battle. The parallel on this is that we Christians are like Julio Cesar Chavez in our Christian battle. Satan is going to hit us with temptations and hardships our entire life. He may even knock us down at times because we do sin. 1 John chapter 1, verse 7 to 10. However, this is a fight with many rounds and the chance of victory over the devil is always there. So if we continually fight, even if we struggle our entire lives, as long as we take the last round, we win the whole fight. So never give up, even if you fail at times. God tells us that we must repent, in other words, change, confess our faults, and ask for forgiveness when we fall into the traps of Satan called sin. However, the fight is not over unless you don't get up. Be determined to win, and you will take the last round of victory. God bless you. Thanks for listening. If you have not made Jesus Christ the head of your life for salvation, don't delay another day. The Bible says that we must obey the gospel, Romans chapter 10, verse 16. This is done by being exposed to, believing, and adhering to the word of God as delivered to us in the New Testament of the Bible. For short, it is called obeying God's plan of salvation. Please see my accompanying video entitled, The Six Things That Save, in order to do so today. You can reach it by going to the YouTube link below or scanning the QR code below with your cell phone. God bless you. Thanks for listening. This is a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ, 309 Henry Street, Gadsden, Alabama, USA, 35901, www.henrystreetchurchofchrist.com. Please subscribe to our channel. God bless you.